They had the generals walking in. End of episode. Like seriously, that's that's. They should just ended it there because what the fuck's gonna happen now? Like, oh god, they're coming through. And there's still 30 minutes left. They're dead. Everyone's dead here. Was that Gilly? Danny saving him, or is that Rago? Danny saving him. Oh, is that is that Rago? Oh. Drone God's getting overwhelmed, get off! They're stabbing him! Oh shit, she fell off! Drogon's gonna die! Oh god, Danny man! Who saved her? John. No, Joro. Gentry, Torment. Sam. Grey Worm, Brianne, Is this the one shot that we're getting now? Looks like it. Oh my god. Fion! Fion! No! No! He's out. You're out. Sword, mate. Shit! Protect Brian with your life, man. I like Fion. Not Choro. Not Choro. Please don't kill him. Oh, God. Oh, oh God. 
Oh, they're in the crypts. <laughs> Tyrion and Sansa are behind the door or something. They're behind a the cupboard. What happened to Varys? Is he dead? Davos, what happened to Davos? Oh god, are they gonna die here? The only husband that that was ever nice to her and probably the only ch girl that was oh god Rosorion. Jamie. Brianna, Jamie. Oh. Grey Worm. Grey Worm is still alive. Joro. Daddy caught. No. Oh, he's protecting the kids. Battery's about to run out. Oh, good. Okay, I have to pause it here, guys. I'm back again. God. What's the time now? supposed to leave in like six minutes but this episode is still for 23 minutes left oh my god okay we're at, we're at 23 minutes and five seconds and it looks like Joel's about to get hit fuck yeah got hit did Torment got hit Torment got hit no where's Podrick I don't see Podrick here did he die I think is that Podrick there? I don't know. Next to Jamie and Desbriad. Honestly, I prefer if Fionn gets killed by the Night King, then he gets overwhelmed and dies here. Turn my laptop battery on. Okay. Fionn's still standing. Oh god, he's overwhelmed. They're surrounding him. Brian's walked back. Shit. Is he gonna die here? He's gonna die here. Generals are here. Oh my god, Bran's gonna die. Theon. He doesn't deserve to die. He 
love you so much. You're a good man. Oh. He redeemed himself. Thank you. Oh god, he broke her. <sighs> this plan went to shit, like... Feels still alive. <laughs> Him and John never even, never even got their last talk properly. Joro, Joro, please don't die. <laughs> Grant's about to die, There's nothing nothing's gonna save him now. Hurry up.
What? Beric died to save Arya, who was destined to kill Blue Blue Eyes as well. Blue Eyes, the Night King, he was well. Oh my god. Who saw that coming? I was expecting this one on one fight with, with John and, 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 and the Night King. It was Arya. It was Arya the whole time. Very still alive. Sansa, Tyrion are still alive. Miss Sunday's still alive. Oh my god. Gilly, little Sam are still alive. Okay, then. Bran, Arya. Oh my god. Did Bran know that was going to happen? Did he see that? Choro. <laughs> and people were like the 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 the, the 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 dead would be like throughout the entire season. No, a lot of us predicted it would end. And the final three would be. The Joro, Joro and Fionn were the two big deaths with followed by Ed Briakin. Is that what you think's gonna happen in the books? Lady Stoneheart's gonna die to save Arya and she's gonna Miss, Miss Melisandre's still alive, so what's that about? Where's Davos? Did Davos live? She said she'll be dead by before the dawn or something, so... Is Davos gonna kill her? It was kind of shit though that she was the only one that turned up. Like, we never even got a scene of her in Atlantis. Oh. She committed suicide, basically. There's 12 minutes left, man, like... Oh! That's how it ends. God, I don't even know what to say, man. That was that was such an incredible episode. And the way the Night King, that was no one saw that coming. None of us predicted that. The moment everyone was like cornered. So yeah, I'm just gonna give my review for this while the music's playing. Like, the soundtrack was on point this episode. That final soundtrack, man, that was incredible. But yeah, the moment everyone was called, I was like, he has to die. Like, something has to happen to stop him this episode. And it was Arya, man, like...
they were setting that shit up from the beginning with the oh the trailer for this. Cersei and the Golden Company, you're on. We have won the Great War. Now we will win the last war. We'll rip her out root and stem. Final battle coming, like. Where's all this stuff? Oh. I think I'll watch these behind the scenes after, innit? But yeah, guys. Oh, God. That was such an emotional episode, man. Like, I'm surprised. I'm surprised we didn't lose as many characters as we did. Like, really, Ed, Ed died, sadly. That means we're gonna have to get a new Lord Commander, right? The Thousandth Lord Commander at the at the end of the series. I wonder who it's gonna be. Lady Mormont. I honestly thought she would live because you know the whole like she's the last of the bloodline. But no, she died, and Joral died. For fuck's sake, for me, he and Fion were the big deaths, man. Like, I didn't think I was gonna cry for Fion, but I did. Like, he went through so much shit, and the end, he died. He died protecting Bran, and it was worth it. It was worth it. He protected him as long as he could. And then Ari and then Beric. Beric died protecting Arya, like, like. And Melisandre came in and told her, like, that's your purpose, like, you know, his purpose was to protect you because you're. And then I'm like, what's why though? Like, what's the higher purpose for? Arya? And it was to kill the Night King. That shit was being set up from the get go, wasn't it? Like, but I imagine in the books it's gonna be it's gonna be Lady Stoneheart who's gonna do the sacrificial play maybe to protect. That's what I'm thinking, like, and Melisandre finally, finally died as well, so that's the, that's like the third big death, isn't it, like, oh my god, that was such an incredible episode, like, I'm not even excited to see Endgame again now, like, that, that, this battle was an hour and 30 minutes, 20 minutes of just, it was just a battle, like, it started off a bit weird with complete darkness, but then as it kept going, and, and you saw the reason for why, like, that's actually great, a great way to, like, intensify the episode like you're like it's way too dark and then the fire starts brightening everything on you're like okay that that shit looks intense and atmospheric as hell and then the dance of dragons like that was great i'm a bit i'm a bit disappointed we didn't get to see the night king and john duke it out one last time like like, pro like after all that build up you'd think we're finally going to get a fight between these two and him him like because the guy who plays him is is the guy who did the stone coordinates and shit for um um, so, so was it Sir Arthur or something? The 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 the, the, the morning of the, the dawn of the morning or something. The dude, uh, Sir Arthur, uh, Sir Arthur D Dwayne. He, you know, the one who was dual wielding swords in season six. Like he was a stone corner for that. And he did all the cinematography. And I saw the behind the scenes for that. So I imagined like maybe they would make him do some kick ass shit. But no, that didn't that didn't that didn't end up happening. We never, we never. We always assumed it was going to be John versus the Night King. No, that was that was just big ass misdirection and I, I don't mind that it was so unexpected and cool like like you know you you assume that's what the final fight's gonna be between it but no it was it was always Arya like I had so many characters lived man Torment is alive Gendry I think is alive did Podrick Jamie and Brienne did, did Podrick better be alive man like and Davos lived, Varys is still alive, so he still has a role to play, like, what's he gonna do, like, what's his role gonna be, because he's gonna die by the end. And Tyrion and Sansa look like the, like, the, the sort of, like, maybe getting close, maybe not, like, seriously, I hope Tyrion isn't gonna betray them, I hope, I hope he lives, like, such a good episode, like, Miguel, is it, he knocked it out of the park again, this is the, this is hands down one of the best, battle episodes we've gotten in years, like, it was just so bloody intense and scary, like, but we don't know what happened to Ghost, like, I hope Ghost is alive, I hope he shows up and he's alive, like, and Sam finally kicked ass, oh my god, what an episode, anyway, it's 10.40, I'm supposed to be there by 11.40, I'm not gonna, I'm probably gonna get there by 12, film starts at 12.20, so, yeah, uh, I best get moving, man. Like an hour and thirty minutes of just ho holding my pee in. Like I'm in, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Uh, 
You know, my throat hurts. Jesus. Three more episodes to go, guys. Holy crap. And I imagine we're going to get a, a second trailer properly to, to build up to that, like, this week as well, so... Like I've got chills and everything. Like I feel like crap right now. Like it was too much. This episode was too much. Anyway, guys, I hope you like my reaction to that. And uh, as always, like and subscribe, guys. And I'll sh see you when I so when I shall see you. Hopefully, I can start uploading these by when I get back tonight or tomorrow, because it does take a long time to convert these into a format that's 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 easy to like uh, render and export. You know what I mean? So. I'm going to start doing that when I get back and then I'm just going to start uploading it. upload the first half of season 8 I guess onto my channel. Uh, each part I've done so far is uh, three parts so when I've edited together it's like three parts. It's part one, part two and three for each episode. This one, this one I imagine is going to be four or five parts so yeah. Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed that as always. Like again, I've said it before, winter came and winter is over now. The long night is done. Now it's... Uh, now it's a time for wolves, guys, and a hopeful dream of spring. <laughs> Take care, guys.